Hello everyone, welcome back to RGB5 land coverage. Right now we are bringing you upper bracket finals. We got Tripwise team, uh, the Healthy Hebrews versus Ford Witness Gaming 6. Well, FG, you know what, the mixed team. Uh, on Witness G6 Ford, we got Sandblast and Bomb Mode on Scout, Ash Soapy Soldier, Dingo Demo, and Law Guy Medic. Stacked roster for sure. On the other side, you gonna uh, you know we got Gungan Scarf Scout Duo, Tripwise Scions Soldier, Bear on Medic and sorry, excuse me, Scion Demo and a Speedy Trip Soldier Duo. Uh I am Manicute with me today. Wild Rump is filling in for uh Mojo who had to leave, unfortunately. Hello everyone. So, so Rumpus. Uh any ideas going to this match? Any predictions um... right now? So, I know at the last NA LAN we saw DreamHack, there was really only one invite team there, so it was kind of a kind of just a lock in for them. Um, however, at this LAN we're seeing two invite caliber teams, and uh, that's the match we're watching right now. I will say for sure, um, Ford Witness G Six definitely. The favorites here for sure but uh you know there's there's definitely more competition um and we could see an interesting match here yeah for sure uh you have an idea about a score line or such on this first um, map uh we didn't we don't know what the next maps are correct yeah, we know we're playing bagel right now it seems um but that's about it and I gotta say as far as score goes on Koth, I always just predict 4 2 because it always feels like like Koth is just a 4 2, even if it's a roll, if it's a close game, it just comes out as a 4 2, it seems. So I'm going to guess 4 2 in favor of uh, FWG6 here. Uh, you know, I was thinking the same thing actually. What you said about that 4 2 theorem is very true. It always feels that way. Who knows? Maybe we'll see some uh, variants, something to disprove that theory today. Yeah, like uh, the scores you just can't trust because sometimes it's a complete roll and the score is actually close, and sometimes it's an extremely close game that's just like a 4 0 roll and score. I'm going to hope it's a closer game, maybe 4 3 in favor of Fort Witness G6. You know, hope for some nice back and forth. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, with G6, you know, they have this insanely veteran roster filled with all these six people who have done so much in invite playoffs over and yeah. over again but the same could be said for a lot of members on uh the hebrew our happy hebrews healthy hebrews Absolutely. like core of mal players who are all also veteran playoff players and lots of talent that you've we have uh seen in both esea and rgl invite many times over yeah and if there's ever uh a map to see upsets on then it's gonna be bagel kind of a definitely a chaotic map even by cost standards i mean you have both houses you have to kind of keep account for and then across point like it's three separate lanes just inviting aggression and aggression is kind of the name of the game on this this map it's very easy to overwhelm your opponents and it's very difficult to kind of stop yourself from getting overwhelmed without counter aggression of your own for sure, this is a uh, Smap loves to reward aggression, but the short cap time, uh, wide open area for lots of bombs, allowing your soldiers to get on the enemy team. Those houses for so much flank plays, it's, it really is just uh, all about the aggression on Bagel, making sure just scrapping it out with the enemy team for control of the cap. Getting that round timer down. Yeah, both these teams, lots of players with very strong the. Um, uh, it looks like we are just still waiting on uh, one of our healthy Hebrews to join the server. Yep, so I actually uh, was only able to catch the tail end of the most recently casted game here on Fireside. Uh, have you been keeping an eye on, on matches and have there been any interesting ones so far this LAN? Uh, this LAN? Well, we've been sitting, unfortunately... Uh, there you know there were some pr production uh mix-ups and we uh ended up having to cast some 
other games instead of the games we wanted, you know. Uh, one of the closest games was actually Dunk Masters, who was in the previous mat- casted match versus uh, Tripwise team Healthy Hebrews right now. That was a 2-1 in favor of Healthy Hebrews, but 30 lasted the whole 30 minutes, so insanely close game on process. It was a 0-0 for like a long time. Yeah, we barely missed casting that game, but it was still pretty close to watch uh, Trip by was streaming. One thing I've noticed, because um, I did play at the DreamHack Atlanta LAN, and I've noticed like, so when it comes to actual like matches that people care about, you'll see a lot of like low scoring, kind of slower games, I think, because people are more scared, take fewer risks, things like that. And LAN is like, similar in scoreline where you'll see low scoring games but not because people are playing scared but because they're playing so aggressive that like teams are kind of just wiping and trading a bunch of players back and forth and it still like ends up being kind of even in the end and uh you'll get those low scores no for real i definitely agree uh there was so much there have been so, so much aggression in all of the games we've played like teams are so eager to take like good dry fights or risk these uh risk these fights that you normally wouldn't in like a higher stakes environment it's been really exciting to yes and it's cool to watch from a spectator point of view as well because uh, i mean just like there's so much happening and you know one team can just completely wipe but then the one remaining player and the other team just has a crazy salvage and uh it definitely feels like I mean, the stakes are high because you want to impress it land and it, it feels like people are are perhaps going for more. And it's actually, you can't understate the uh, the lack of paying as well because it's, it's kind of just the great equalizer and stuff will connect that you didn't even expect to necessarily, but it's uh, it feels good for sure. Yeah, for sure. All the projectiles finally on an even level playing field. Mm-hmm. I'm sure the land atmosphere must help too. Getting people hyped up. All of a sudden you want to go for those crazy plays. Oh yeah. I'm sure five ping rockets make you feel good too about it. Yeah, and uh, you know when someone hits something because you can hear like an entire team or an entire side <laughs> of the venue just erupt. That it's, sounds it's so awesome. hype. Yeah. Oh. Uh, looks like we finally have 12 in the server, so we should be getting things started relatively soon. Mm-hmm. Just, uh, some, just some casual banter going up in chat. Yeah, so I think, uh, as far as players to look out for here, although they haven't played as a soldier duo, I expect Soapy and Ash to be getting a lot of work done here. Um, again, as I said uh, earlier, like, sorry, it's like very hard to stop aggression without your own. So I think that, uh, the trip white team is definitely going to be able to, to get work done, but, uh, those soldiers on G6 are going to be strong. Of course, uh, top two, no top one soldiers. Both of them have been in the past. Mm -hmm. So be a great playmaker and Ash, one of the best pockets in recent years. Yep. Yeah, and we will be going live with the first minute. Take it away, Rumpus. Yeah, so we're seeing uh, both demos showing up, just trying to exchange some spam. Neither team committing to too much right now. Actually kind of just occupying that central space in front of the point. Uh, seeing a little bit of aggression from Soapy and Ash in the houses. Uh, Scarf's taking the 2v1 actually. Goes down. They pick up two picks. Bear going down. Perhaps to a just a carpet on the ground or something. Dingo getting that pick. Speedy trying to salvage gets a rocket on little guy, but it's not going to be enough. And they're just sending the whole the whole house at them. Trip goes down. There goes Sai. We do have Gungan hiding, but uh, spotted. Will get picked up by Dingo, and that's going to be pretty much a clean wipe from uh, Tripwise team here. Yeah, great game sense from Dingo there. Turned around, just intercepted him with a pipe. I'm. I think Dingo. Yeah, I think uh, Bear did go down to a nice carpet laid down on the ground right behind him. Great gimmick, they won't fall for it again, but it's just like, <laughs> that's perfect for catching them out on the first mid. We're yeah. seeing a bit of a forward hold here. Actually, interesting that uh, there's only one soldier holding right side. Not typical, you usually have both soldiers holding one of the doors and then your demo holding the other. 
but uh, they're buying some valuable time here. Gungan just running out, getting on Dingo. Actually, almost dying Dingo. Uh, they are just going to give up that space with happy with the time that they bought with that forward hold. Yep, great retreat. Dingo hit a nasty surf all the way out at 30 HP, managed to live barely. I think they were, like you were, uh, from what you were saying, they only had one soldier because they were rotating after seeing uh, they were going left side. Already though, bombs coming out aggression in the left house. We will be... <laughs> the Hebrew is just so aggressive here, trying to get that cab, and it will be an exchange. Yep. Pigs traded out, Soapy for speedy. Oh, Psy goes down in the meantime though. Oh, this could be very bad for uh, the Hebrews here. <laughs> they will just be chilling back left though, and without yeah, without their explosives, I think they just need to fall back, reheal, and get a refight once they have their spawns, which are slightly better. Yeah, the exchange was looking pretty decent because they had forced a flash onto Dingo and had a pick going into it, but uh, Psy just maybe a little too aggressive, maybe the uh, Uber was a little too aggressive but gets picked off and then they had to give up that space. Psy going down again actually. Dingo with a nice pipe onto him. They're yeah, still just fighting for this point. Scarf's going down, trying to get cap, and yeah, bot mode actually quite aggressive. Gets another pick on Speedy. Dingo has been asserting himself on the cap. He's just been doing so much in all these fights. Pretty much like every uh, every opportunity has just been him like randomly getting a pick and opening up for the rest of his team to come in, swoop in, and get more frags. Yeah, it's kind of seemed like. Uh, the Hebrews have been trying to just straight up cat point um, from in front without any kind of like soldier bombs, aggression plays around the houses and things like that. And it's just not working because uh, they're just getting mulched. You're seeing an exchange come through. Uh, forces yep. a flash, but uh, pretty even exchange overall. Yeah, Scarf's going down though. It bomb mode very low as well, but ooh. Ash coming in, swooping in and helping him out, and that will be two down. Ooh, Trip so. gets a bomb in from behind. Onto Lol Guy. Ooh, gets picked off just before he can get the last rocket off. Yeah, almost got it. Very sick bomb, and Soapy in behind. He gets a second rocket off. Scarf's down as well. Sandblast a little bit too far, but only 10 seconds on the yeah. clock. Buying any time you can is a good play here. At this point, it's looking like a very, very decisive round for... Uh for forward three minutes to zero minutes yeah amazing gameplay from uh fwg6 there just completely locked him out yeah just doing everything you want to do on bagel just not only denying that cap time very effectively but even getting picks on point while simultaneously just creating chaos and problems in both of the houses we are seeing a new round start though same as before, just both teams kind of poking and prodding. Speedy and Trip bombing and Trip behind right now. Will get fought. Does go down. They lose three. Lose four. Sai just trying to live. Bear and Sai both just completely caught on concrete here. And yeah. Bear will kill bind. Yeah, another clean mid for uh, FWG here. Uh, Soapy behind at the very end. Just cleaning up Sai and Bear too. Uh, it looks like this aggression is just uncoordinated. It seems like uh, the soldiers from uh, Hebrews are just not getting the support they need on this aggression. Yeah, I was just gonna end say, up having like, 1v3s. Trip bombing behind brought so many people back, but that aggression, well, that, that passivity from, uh, from G6 was not met with more aggression across the point. It seems like they were just given the space to, uh, to go clean up that pick and then return back front. Either way, they're trying to cap this point again. Um, Dingo doing his best to deny this. Trip is bombing in, gets a rocket on Lol Guy, but will get cleaned up. Uh, Scarf's in the meantime dying in one of the houses. And the counter aggression, Soapy bombing in, will go down, as well as Ash and Bot Mode dies. And Ooh. this is looking like a bit of an opportunity here. Sandblast is in on Psy alone, catches a pipe, but will clean up that pick. And yeah, Psy, got a, Psy getting a 2k there as well, actually managing to trade himself out for 2. And off those picks, they'll be able to get back onto the cap. Ooh, Sandblast gets dropped here. Yeah, this is a great opportunity for uh, Trip Y. It will yeah. get the point. Don't even have to use Uber either, so now full add. And we're probably going to see some kind of sack wave from uh, from Witness. Yeah, lol guy already pretty weak, should be backing Ooh, out. quite alone, or quite aggressive alone in front. Does get bailed out. Ash going down. 
Yeah, that early pick is gonna throw a wrench into FWG's yeah, plans here. Now Bear they're just gonna turn it up. Now. Yep. Ooh, Bear does get forced. Unable to back up in the main in time. But still, um, they still have point. They uh, do have disad now, so we're gonna need to see some uh, some contingency plan. Hope to get a force before uh, they can enter. Yeah, uh, Ooh, that's a nice start from Sai. FWG played that perfectly. They uh, pressured point and then just baited them into staying too long. Bomb soldier bomb. Yeah, coming out here. We'll get some picks. Ooh, gets three. Excellent bomb from Trip. And lives too. Yeah, Chase is on for Ash. He might have yeah, overstayed his welcome. Yeah, die here as well. Little guy does have, but uh, didn't want to use to just save one soldier there. Yeah, good discipline there. He would not be able to save everyone, and, and that would be pretty bad Uber because of all the multis he's putting out. Still, they know they have a second chance at this before the Ubers are in play for the Hebrews here. Getting aggro on that left house. Yeah, and this time they do let them through, so they're going to be able to contest point. Although, Ubers are evening out here, so we're likely to see an exchange pretty soon to deny cap time. And actually, ooh, Bamo going down. Samblast almost dying as well. Yeah, aggression coming out here off that pick now. They're getting back onto cap. Samblast so aggro, speedy, so weak, and so be in. Ooh, they might just get point out from under them. No, Gungan's here to stop. Ooh, ooh and they drop Samblast. Take the exchange. I'd say yeah. it's an even exchange time-wise, but uh, it's just on Dingo. Yeah, and they have so much cap time to back up. Speedy down in the right house Ooh. for Hebrews. That's a nice rocket from uh, Soapy. Hmm. Even then, still, they just barely get the cap. Oh no, they uh, trade yeah, it back point, and forth. Point just flipping and flopping back but and still, forth. Hebrews still pushed back. They just got pressured out immediately after they lost that cap there. The aggression just came in from FWG and Psy and Bear just left all the way back, uh, already leaving, leaving everyone else to dry. Yeah, I'm not sure if they were, uh, if they had denied both soldiers or only one, but uh, they were down picks there, so the point was much easier for uh, for G6 to cap. So they will be busting in through that forward hold, already getting the damage in on that soldier. Forced to jump out. And with this, they will be starting to push to that cap. Speedy in behind, though, gets spotted out by Ash into the 2v1. But he hits that Ooh, Nash D. Mode. Ends up trading out, but uh, Trip versus Ash. Ash quite weak. We'll have to back up. They both back up. And we're seeing an Uber exchange across the point. Yeah, they will be taking Ooh, it so in. <laughs> just getting checked by Sai. Yeah, almost caught him out, but Sai, you know, he has those pipes. He's, he has that dog in him. And now it's even numbers, uh, soldier for scout, just trying to get some aggression across point, and there's a lot of aggression Clean across bomb. point, they just, Ash. ooh, the bear goes down, yeah. Yeah, he just came in completely unspotted from the right house and hit that one rocket, but still, lol guy going down as well late into the fight, and this is just scrap city. Yeah, we have trip behind, uh, Soapy trying to fight, Soapy having the health pack advantage here, we'll probably clean up trip, and full wipe for, uh, trip wise team. Yeah, still not the worst in the world. Both medics went down, and they do have the time to repush with their spawns. Scratch that. Looks like a FWG played properly and waited for theirs, so they're gonna have have position on point first. There's gonna be slight ad here. Uh, I'm not sure Ubers will come into play with this amount of time left. It will if uh, if the point flips. Some fights happening in house. Uh, Sleepy picking up a pick there, but getting traded out. Even numbers, scratch that actually. Sandblast is just in picking up a pick on Gungan. And now, uh, with overtime, just your medic and scout alive, this is looking very difficult. Oh, Psy just Sick, bombing in. Nasty. A, a the bomb pick. in, the bomb in from Trip. Oh, gets, uh, gets fragged. Yeah, despite Psy's best efforts, uh, this is looking not salvageable. They we one last one attempt. Those, oh. those bagel quirks of, you know, those fast spawners means you can kind of spend multiple spawn waves just throwing yourselves at the point but uh, it will not be enough yeah honestly i think uh i think there's some reoccurring themes like Cy and bear are always the last ones in a fight but like so far back kind of baiting their team it seems like yeah you don't want to be so aggressive that uh you die especially as a valuable class like demo or medic but you know a map like bagel does warrant aggression True, and it seems like there is a lot of regression from FWG here. Ooh, Sandblast alone across point does die. Soapy going down, 
gets a trade with Gungan. Picks just trading hands, even numbers. And the positioning is definitely in favor of Witness, although we're seeing a house shove here. Uh, yeah. They do cap point, but uh, are forced off. And we might see a fast recapture here. No, it's, uh, that's a great rotate. They just got past Dingo Sticks completely and Ooh, scratched that. Down. Yeah, bomb mode just running him down there. This is going to be... Now this is a pretty bad exchange if... Ooh, if the Hebrews want to take it. That is a nice rocket from Trip, but... Trip living on 8 HP. Yeah, that's just not enough. Too in the meantime, so... And Trip does end up dying in the end. Yeah, great work from Trip on that push, but just not enough to turn things around when you've lost both your scouts. Yeah, they got the pick, but uh, decided to just press forward when, you know, the health wasn't great, and then both scouts ended up kind of being alone and dying for it. Well, they still have time on the clock. They're going to be running back and uh, trying to get that dry push in onto point now. Gungan already edging, getting a ton of cap time, yeah. forcing Sandblast in to contest. We're seeing just all sorts of bodies on red across the point. Uh, Gungan going down, actually, to a pipe. Scarf just... down, too. Ooh, and they... Deny both scouts to get that cap, but uh, they're going to have to back up and give up that capture point. Only getting 7 seconds off the clock. Yeah, and that's kind of a, resetting here. That's really unfortunate. Now they just have to reset all the way back after getting that cap because of that scout denial. They're not going to be able to fight for a little bit longer. So, they still have time on the clock. Rotating back up top left. They will be pushing that left house, it seems like. Just getting that pressure in. Yep, we're seeing uh, Gungan just trying to get that cap time again, but it's getting... Actually, Exchange does come out, but they got a lot of cap time before that happened. Ooh. Sandblast on point causing chaos, picking up a pick on Sleepy, and Bear is kind of aggressive here across point, getting stickied off. Just barely living 30 HP, but might get cleaned up by Soapy behind. Yeah, the collapse Ooh. is just too much. Trying for a salvage will get shot out of the sky by Soapy. Yeah, Soapy. Off a nice taunt there as well. That is a Soapy fight. Gets the flank and then hits the air shot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, these, uh, just seems like, uh, uh, Hebrews are just getting out DM some of these fights. They're just losing these people, and then, uh, even with Soapy going behind and getting that flank late into the fight, just still not able to win. Despite, uh. I'm seeing double soldier stack in a house here. Uh, okay, Ash back, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking a lot of these fights are kind of prolonged, and the longer the fights end up going on, the more in favor of FG6 they are. And if I'm on Tripwise team, I'm just trying to make these fights decisive. So we do see uh, Red taking their Uber ad. Might get a pick on Scarfs here. Trip is also behind, so they're getting those two picks with it. Not uh, a useless Uber, but uh, we're seeing a house shove here. 90% on Bear. Sandblast uh, going down though. Yeah, that yeah. was a little bit of a rushed Uber though. He popped without being able to Let's confirm see. the bear frag. Yep, here comes the sack wave. Bear alone right now, it catches a pipe, will have to force. And Psy goes down as well. Just catastrophic Uber uh, for Tripway. Yeah, great, great confirm from Dingo to get that side trade before he uh, went down. And now FWG, uh, full add. Yeah. Zero time on the clock. This is super high pressure for uh, the Hebrews. So they gotta hold need this. To see another one of those 3K double bombs as they aggress this time. If uh, if Blue wants to have any hope here, and no, they make it into the house cleanly. They use. It's gonna be a complete mulch of an Uber. Yeah, Scarf and Gungan caught yeah, out behind. Chasing the guy behind, but there's too many too many picks. This should be an easy recapture. Sleepy going down. It's just up to Cyan and Bear who cannot stop the onslaught yeah oh honestly kind of close Soapy went down super early into that last fight and sandblast was so low i thought he could have went down as well but only so much you can do against that full ad type push yeah first round was uh obviously decisive second round it, it seemed like blue had caught their footing but then uh that most recent round it looked like uh Red had made the adjustments, and now we're seeing a fast bomb in from Sleepy, or Speedy rather, uh, getting some decent damage, but uh, nothing. Big bomb! Much. Oh, two soldiers in. Bear so close to living, hits that surf, but just not enough. Yeah. Thank you, confirming with a pipe. 
So many picks going down. Just two weak soldiers on the point. Speedy trying to get that cap, maybe. <laughs> Will not be able to. And it's a full wipe from uh, from Tripway. Yeah, Law Guys arriving too. You know, it's another full ad hold from uh, FWG. Uh, we'll see. Yeah. So, probably going to see a sack wave here for uh, the Hebrews. Mm -hmm. They are trying to approach through this uh, left side here. And actually, there was no forward hold, so this space is free to take. Hopefully, they can get a little bit of aggression. Little guy just baiting near main, ready to leave. Actually, more towards uh, alley side. Oh, and they're actually shoving the house. Just yeah. kind of kiting the, the sack wave, not back, but forwards. And now these players are just stuck behind. Little guy does eat one rocket, but uh, is perfectly safe here. Yeah, last one of Scarf's just caught in. Mm -hmm. And that's a very late death as well on the scout. Yeah, some crazy technology from Lolgai there. <laughs> just running away from the sack wave. And now we're seeing a, a true forward hold happening, although bot mode a little bit aggressive does uh, get traded so out there. Sopi with the flank, he manages Ooh. to almost kill, he almost kills Sai and Bear and does get the early force out. So that's going to leave FWG with a full add for trying yeah. to push back in. And Dingo in the meantime died as well. Soldier just got through on him. So now, you know, you hate to see the full add forward hold go into, you know, down three and you lose the point. But uh, hopefully it should be a pretty easy recapture. This is AD add. They just use through Dingo down to single digit HP will finally catch a flash but uh, the uber doesn't really get them anything besides point and if they cap they deny two Ooh, and Psy now that two. third pick going down oh yeah, but no bears left alone from the rest of his team Samblash just pushes even when they're down three yeah that's that so unfortunate like a perfect situation for uh for trip way but then uh yeah bear just getting caught out alone That being said, uh, Ubers are not in play yet. Only 50% for Lil Guy. Um, and we do see both teams have their players here, so it is a pretty even fight so far. But uh, if you're blue here, you want to be cognizant that they are going to get that Uber soon. And if you are too aggressive, then they're just going to use it on you. And actually, a little too passive there. Do give up the point before Ubers are in play. And Ash behind right now, I don't think they know. Okay, Scarfs nope, caught out taking the Scarfs. fight. This is a great we'll pick early, but still. Ooh, Trip behind as well. Gets uh, the pick on bot mode. That's so that a player behind. Draw he's drawing them back. He's getting uh, 2v1. Does trade out, too. Still so forward two witness. from uh, Trip. They have to go with the point. Plus the picks. Law guy left alone. Ooh. They just get more frags. He's milking a little bit too hard. Speedy accepts his fate, but you know he got. he knows. He got the force. That's this is a great said. situation. Bear needs to get out here. Mm -hmm. Yep, baiting in Ash. Sandblast there on Sai. Live. Sai should live here. Yeah, I was gonna say down three. There was scary for uh, for Blue. Bot mode in alone. Ooh, gets actually a nice shot on there, but uh, he was healthy enough. One more. One. They're sending. They're sending uh -huh. Sophie as well. Just <laughs> the uh, the lineup of single sacks was unable to to get the job done there. Now it's gonna be seventy add for uh, Tripwise team here, holding the point. Uh, Soapy. Not spawned yet, so they're down a soldier for a few seconds here. And we'll see what happens. Actually, they're, actually, they're doing a really aggressive yeah, hold. They're trying they to push in that left house here. here. They see they get it looks spotted like they out. Want to. They're pushing and through they're the going door right to. now. But it's a little bit too slow. They get one they pick. Get a pick. Soapy's they behind lose them. One as well. Yeah, yeah the, the whole all other these players. side of the map is just owned by red. Still they have the they Soapy have the opportunity. Bomb on Psy will go down. Eats an air sticky. Psy taunting back. No, Ooh, bear down. Bear dying on point. Again, just no one to protect him from Sandblast running him down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then Gungan caught alone. Speedy is hiding here in a house. Will actually Wait, get some He hits the rocket. Here. Two rockets. Ooh. He's solo. Both soldiers in. They confirm Plus the kill. Scarves the last one. Gets one more frag. What a crazy collapse from these players. Yeah, nice salvage for sure. Um... Probably a little too uh, gung ho from uh, from FG6 to just kind of cap the point without checking anything. Um, no point stacking it or anything with a point to cap so quickly. 
We are seeing Ash behind now. Um, Sandblast did die, so if Ash gets picked up here, it should be a pretty easy recapture. They're actually just but the bombs exactly are in. Out. Bear does Bear get just up. dies. Yeah. Ash in from behind, bombs forward, does get a pick on Scarps and lives. Uh, Dingo did die, but uh, this is looking great for Witness. Trip oh, going down as well behind. Law guy single digit HP. Trip almost managed to get that frag there. Still seven seconds. This is the last chance for the trip mm -hmm. team. They have to do bomb. Yep. They have to bomb in. And get they that are captain. sending it. Law guy solo again. Surf back. Frags yeah, going the picks down. just aren't no. going in their favor. Speedy gets one, but uh, we'll get traded out almost immediately. It's all up to trip here. Uh, just on point gets market gardened. Yeah, it gets and the gardener. That's gonna be a four zero. Well, sadly not as close as I wanted it to be, but still a pretty exciting game. Yeah, there were absolutely some uh, some competitive rounds there. Um, I gotta say, like one thing that definitely stuck out to me in that last round in particular was the amount of times that Lolgai was just completely dead to rights with a soldier on him, just guaranteed kill no matter what, and the soldier gets two rockets off for damage, but yet somehow Lolgai still lives, like. It's it's hard to understate the value of obviously you want to avoid the rockets, but when you can't, minimizing the damage they do just comes into play so often and ended up saving Low Guy's life like multiple times. Yeah, for sure. He Low Guy lived in so many of these fights when Bear went down. Mm -hmm. It bought them it must have bought them like <laughs> such an insane amount of time with just how long uh Trip's team had to deal with these uber dis ads and i gotta say um i think and a lot of times on this map for these teams in particular maybe like the uber ad and dis ad was more mental than like material because when you think about it there were only like a couple or a handful of uh ad ubers that were taken that actually gave like good value obviously you have to respect it with your positioning but uh a lot of the times having, you know, a med live or something is more like a mental game of, okay, well now we have to sack type of deal instead of actual like material threat. Because a lot of the Ubers that were taken really only resulted in like getting a point or even just like nothing at all. You know, trades happen pretty much even as far as picks go. And then, you know, back to the drawing board. Yeah, for sure. Uh, anyone you think you'd credit as the uh, MVP of that map? Um, I do think so. It was obviously difficult to see um, all that was happening. I did see uh, Ash and Soapy in particular just getting a ton of value, sneaking behind, and just you know being that thorn in the side that a team can't deal with. Um, so that's definitely what stuck out to me. Obviously, earlier on in the match. Um, Dingo was getting a ton of value on the point. Um, yeah, I'd say probably Soapy, though, did uh, did the most from what I could see. Yeah, for sure. Those flank, those repeated flank plays he's been keeping up just mm -hmm. throughout the whole game. Just been doing so much. Finishing off the finishing off Psy and uh, Psy and Bear at the tail end of fights. You know, just init making those initiations from behind if when he gets back on scene. I also think Lol Guy has been doing a really great job with uh, how much he's been surviving. Oh yeah, absolutely. I'm sure, uh, and if uh, he brainstormed that, uh, I feel like he's the type of player to brainstorm the push forward when they sack wave type play. <laughs> yeah, I mean, a lot of people, like you, when you're, you're sacking like that, you want to get deep and then just keep going until you die pretty much because, you know, the sooner you die, the sooner you can respawn and refight for you know your next plan or whatever. Um, and you're expecting that team to be kiting deeper as well. But then when you keep going, and then suddenly like everyone's calling, like, okay, where's the med? Like, I don't see him. Suddenly you have two players just stuck behind late deaths, and then you know, what are you gonna do about that? Yeah, absolutely. Seems that uh seems that we are moving to granary for map two. Mm -hmm. Ooh, old school. Absolutely. Um, so my experience with Granary is pretty limited to 
early pugs because by the time I started actually playing seasons of sixes, it was kind of out of the rotation. Uh, what can you say about this map? This map, everyone loves to say it's a uh, it's a soldier and demo map. You know, scout is bad, but come on, scouts are the best class in the yeah, game. Scout it's just can like never a, be bad. It's a it's a, like scouts not as important in some places. Definitely, like it's so choky. It's really obvious when you look at it, though. Like uh, compared to compared to like the original map as well, they had to open up so many doorways just because of how choky it is. And even then, it can still be pretty hard to bust through a lot of these doorways, like in garage. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely yeah. explosives dominate a lot of the stalemate play, but uh, even then, I think like the only place where it's truly like truly like explosives uh, focused is on mids, because it's just uh, so so wide air, so much wide open mm-hmm. space. There's it's really uh, easy to coordinate your soldier bombs, and it's so easy for them to just land on the enemy team or you know fade yeah. out. Just be really threatening on these mids plus demos. I gotta say, scout mains have had it too good for too long. They've had so many processes and sunshines that you give them like a gully or a granary, and then they can't stop complaining. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this for map sure. for sure does get uh, sometime lovingly, sometime less so called a 7 CP map, because of course, you know, you can get the midpoint, but uh, that yard area between mid and second is kind of a almost acts like a control point of its own obviously you can't cap it but uh, the team that holds it can hold it as though it were a control point so you have to fight not only to get to this not only to get the second point but to get the chance to like take your sacks and fights into the second point as well yeah very true um it is it is an interesting point of course i agree you end up having you will end up having like the stalemates in different places on two depending on you know uh what the situation was when your teams meet at what doorway you know like if they're meeting in garage or they're meeting at the i guess second cp because that you can't really call that garage mm-hmm. still nope oh. Looks like GSR one lower brackets, by, by the way. Thank you, production. So yeah, another thing... Uh, so it wouldn't surprise me, because this is a, a launch map, right? This came out uh, with TF2 itself back in 2007. And I'm pretty sure like the actual um, layout of the map is just a big rectangle. Um, and a lot of the time it's it's quite wide uh because a lot of that space is is filled in so unlike other more modern five cps where like flank routes and things like that seem more i want to say like not close quarters but just like restricted there's an entire like half of the map that is just as large where you know a lot of flank action can happen and with that as well, in addition to the you know the map being quite long as well, uh, especially that mid to second, uh, back caps can be very threatening on this map. Uh, yeah, uh, lots of open doorways, lots of space for people to hide. Definitely lunch box in the surrounding flank area. Mm-hmm. Yeah, got to be really careful clearing it. What is it? And it's been so long since I played this map. What is the what's the little connector between two and yard? The connector between oh, but, like Z. Z is that yeah. Z? Yeah, uh, just so many open doorways for players to get through. You got to be very really careful clearing this map. Plus, even drop down sometimes. Yep. Yeah, do uh, soldiers get their jump competitive uh, runs in? Although there's no marker on the ground, you gotta you gotta be on that to to jump up connector. Yeah, you gotta do the little line up with the light above you. Mm-hmm. Or if you're on stock, uh, you know, good luck. <laughs> the worst is when you know you spend five or six attempts, a ton of health, just to finally get up, and then once you get up, you realize there's just a player in lunchbox staring at you. <laughs> yep. 
some players are just more aware. Sometimes they just know they can read you like a book. And the RGL map pool is is released. I think Granary is is in there. Granary really? was in the pool last season, right? I can do it. Uh, quick. I don't think only for invite. Only was invite. It? Sultry was yeah. Sultry was oh, the yeah. map for last season. I really can't remember off the top of my head. Man, I want to play Sultry. Okay, yeah. Newcomer to Maine has Sultry this season. Uh, yeah. I wish I was playing this season. I want to play Sultry. Sultry is a really nice map. Okay, yeah. Invite and Advanced are, are Granary. Anyways. Uh, looks like we're getting people in server now. you have any predictions for this map? Um, I think that... To be honest, I think Tripwise team had a better shot at Koth uh, than here. Um, even though Koth does require some some good coordination, um, I think for a map like this, I mean, we've seen how many people on uh, Forward Witness G6 on this map just have outstanding performances. I don't think it's it's going to be too different here. I definitely think. I think Tripwide team could could get some some uh, mileage, but uh, I predict probably a. Well, first I should ask the format because that influences the score. Is it just thirty minute? Yeah, is it like uh, any conflict? European European style, quote unquote, where it's just thirty minute? Okay, so thirty minute, uh, first to five. Yeah. So with the thirty minute thing, I'd say. Hmm. <laughs> I'd probably have to go 5-1 to be honest. I agree with you. Uh, their best chance was to work with for Tripwise team. Their best chance was to work with the Chaos of Koth. Uh, but it turns out that uh, FWG was just able to turn it around with their own brand of Chaos. Yeah. Yeah, that, so that soapy Chaos. I'm going to say 4-1. Oh, you think it's going to go to time? That is really reasonable. I forgot about that. I've yeah, just been watching... Uh, five rounds all day mm -hmm. yeah because that 30 minute timer is you know half as much as the well the former uh rgl format good old esea style yeah mm -hmm. yeah it's kind of funny how that was just like the format that was kind of chosen by esea from what i remember um, not even like tailored for TF2, but just what the site had used for CSGO and things. Yeah. And then it kind of just stuck because people got used to it. It just worked, honestly. Halftime is a really nice thing to have. And it really, uh, it's really exciting to see the teams like make that comeback after having the discussion. Yeah, um, that's true. There's definitely, I like, um, the, the new Banny config for that sort of, it's simultaneously like anti it's anti stalemate in like the macro sense um where you're gonna see more stalemates in the micro of like round resets and um we'll just like take a new mid with that reduced round timer but uh there's gonna be fewer in the like macro sense of a team just deciding to park the bus as exactly. a game plan because they do need to ultimately close out a round but you do give up that halftime, which is nice. And in some sense, it feels like those earlier rounds before that uh, overtime timer kicks in is like less valuable in a sense, where you only need to be leading by, well, you only need to be tied even to to win once you get that that round in the end. True. And it looks like we are going live here, heading out to first mid. Mm -hmm. uh, who are you keeping your eyes on? I think I'm going to be spectating Dingo. Yep, so Dingo and Sai, both demos who for sure know the rollout at the very least, have played this map plenty. Both roll out uh, Catwalk here, just exchanging some damage. Dingo actually, on the weaker end of things, ooh, going down to 9 HP. HP. Down to 9 before he got a little beam. Yeah. Speedy bombing in, getting a clean bomb, just picks up Lolgai instantly. Bear does die in the meantime, though, and kind of a slugfest. It's going to be a 2v3 here, demo versus two scouts, and a demo. Bobo get hit, gets his man, Scarfs is down, mm -hmm. HP now, solo. Even numbers, even classes. Oh, Dingo Sai caught out. 1v1 does clean up size, just bot mode versus a 2 HP Gungan and Sai. Sai just took that pack, so it won't be available for a little yeah. bit here. 
But, Sai uh, just needs to buy time for the health kit to respawn, and then they can just take this fight. Plus, like Bobmo's just trying to live behind here, but he's uh, just there's got to be spawners on the way. Yeah, yeah, this is stuck between a rock and a hard place for bot mode. Doesn't get a trade there, unfortunately, and that's got to be. Actually, the mid was capped, but Sophie's just poking around. They're gonna just hold two here. Yeah, it recognizes the situation and decides to pull back a little. Somehow, Logai has conjured up twenty ad here out of nowhere. Oh. And they're just trying to get through choke. Do lose two actually for it. And yeah. I don't know if Logai spotted here. If they know that this is now like 30 ad, they do. Yeah. Uh, they... They're just taking this in, in garage here. Actually, it seems like they get forced. Oh yeah, they yeah, trip getting behind with scarves. We're yeah. able to salvage it by getting the force in the garage. But at the cost of the rest of the team, still the spawns will come up eventually, yeah. so Trip's team will be able to hold yard here. I gotta say, it's still shocking. Both meds died at mid, so unless Logai like caught a faster spawn timer that I didn't notice, like he conjured up like 30 plus add out of nowhere, and that's insane. So it is dis add now, they're just trying to hold mid. Oops, Oops Sophie like... is behind, but he will get caught out at the shutters. Manages to trade with Trip. Ooh. Very nice salvage of that situation. Okay, but... do go down. You see bot mode up on sniper in the forward spawn. 70% on low guy. They might have to give up this yard area uh, before they get Uber. Although blue's a little slow in the approach. They still haven't capped point. So actually, there's forward spawns coming out from uh, from red. Ash won't get denied. And now it's just even numbers, even Ubers. Probably a missed opportunity there from blue. Yeah, I definitely did have the potential to go for something, but with, with you know with that scout on the midpoint, you're just basically waiting for your one player to come up. I'm sure they could still have a uh, Gungan go in or something along those lines. So we are seeing this kind of... I don't want to call it a forward hold, because that's another term used, but uh, we do see Trip bust through, trying to get behind, unable to get anything. Yeah, met with the, met with the gun from two scouts. Mm -hmm. And then the counter aggression, we're going to see a counter sack in. They're actually taking some good space. Speedy, Speedy. bombing in. Yeah. Logai just uses. I'm not sure for what. Bear uh, counter popping now. They're trying to catch it through choke. Dingo getting the pick onto Scarfs early. This might ooh. hamper it, but still Gungan busting Soapy through. Soapy in behind the perfect flank. Ooh, Sai does still get alive though. Sai. And now it's just looking like kind of a wipe. Oh my god. Sai a little too aggressive. Gets cleaned up off bot mode. But the bomb in. They need yeah. to kill the scout now. It's just up to bot mode. Logai leaving him to the wolves. Bear I'm not sure 20 what health. Forced Logai there uh, in choke. But, he, uh, they got nuked by Speedy. Was he it just, a Speedy bomb? Okay. Yeah, he landed on them. He had to. Yeah, they would have taken like 200 to 300 damage, I think. Yeah. Well, now it's Still. gonna be actually add for uh, for witness here. Wow, Scarf just goes down, caught out in garage. Mm -hmm. Sandblast just runs them down. It looks like they're gonna be getting a little aggressive here, bombing in Ash who catches a rocket midair. Soapy in. Getting some good damage on Sle Speedy, who does end up dying, and it's gonna be... Ooh, Logai does force in the meantime, though. They will get the midpoint temporarily, but uh, it's gonna be full ad here for Blue, who's Trip just trying to take it in quick. Gungan gets down so low, they're forced off. Sai will yeah, be bombing into Blanca. They caught out here. They lose Ash as well. Yeah, another great pick there. They definitely try to try it while there's no Ubers Absolutely. right now. And, play. and uh, the point never flipped hands, so they don't have to worry about anyone capping oh. that. Although Soapy going behind. I yeah, to uh, try and do something. Fighting trip. Gets the frag. Oh, and that's that uh, that granary counter jump going to uh, use. <laughs> Great rocket there. Oh, Soapy pushed that flank. Yeah, Soapy pushing the flank there. Just bought them so much time and those two picks. So it is going to be about 20-30 add for red here. And they're looking to just Low through here, get to mid. Ubers might be evening if they're a little slow, um, yeah. which it looks like they are. They're just gonna play this even, potentially try and send a sack. Trip, just from some hiding spot, tried to drop down on bot mode, but uh, bot mode said no to that. And Scarf's, Scarf's actually too. also alone does go down, and that's just two picks for free. Yeah, they managed to buy time for the Uber, but I didn't think it would be necessary. I guess they were just trying to get the sack out while they're leaving. They will get trip on forward, but scarfs maybe not, so 
Uh, FWG. Let's see what they can do with this player ad now. Mm -hmm. I gotta say, uh, another thing that is unfortunate about being kind of unfamiliar with this map is like sacking meta, I guess, because it definitely seems so easy to hold this yard area and on the flip side mid because you can just watch all the doors with with two explosives so i'd imagine double sacks are are pretty standard but uh yeah it can be pretty tough but like the closeness of the doors as well makes it a lot easier to pressure out players away from them just by getting damage onto them it can be hard from choke but still if you're able to get a player if you can like get the player watching the door away from it then you can get in pretty easily and Try to take control of, of the crate. Meta, it looks like bot mode is uninterested in that. We'll just come up sniper here. Yeah. Good old sniper. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm trying to look for some good angles here. Obviously, you want to be shooting through uh, this doorway here, which it's easy to keep your medic safe for sure, uh, which they're doing now. It's Actually, already they're just so much pressure. rotating out. They will right. be opting. To, they will be opting to just push the other doorway though. Mm. He still get. He will still get the. Okay, we see an exchange pick. come out, and ooh, ooh it might not get anything. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Sophie yeah, is behind. Sophie is behind. Taking a one v one. Speedy will get that pick. Uh, Trip kind of caught out alone. We'll get a trade at least, but uh, let's go down. Ash dying. To his Ash own dying rocket. Too. I'm not sure where he was. Number probably. ad. Is number ad for Trip's team now? Even though they have Ubers here, they get the forest Gungan. Yeah, Gungan and Speedy both willing to trade their lives for that. It's just going to be Baron Sai retreating yep. to last now, but with a it small ad. Give up that second point for that. Maybe not. They could Ooh. be refining here. Psy yeah, is here in like, time to block uh, it. Red's a little... Just didn't even attempt to... Uh, to peek it. And they're just happy holding this yard area. Yeah, like you said, that 7 CP yep, play. 7 action. control points coming into play now. 30 add for trip team here. Mm -hmm. Maybe they could go off it, but... They might think it's lower. Yeah, they just threw off a fake call, and it looks like Red kind of believes that. They're baiting back by Choke now. Yeah, it um, is possible. Yeah, the yard completely unseen. This could be nasty if they decide to just take it in. They will opt to just yep. take left, the opposite yeah. yard instead. Witness baiting appropriately. We'll just back out. No one lost on either side. Uber's I would have really uh, evening out here. I would have loved to see some like really aggressive play, like walking straight by garage onto them. But and, you know, you could also it's perfectly fine to also just walk, take the other yard, a lot safer too. Yeah, with that kind of uh, build out rectangle of design, it's there's a lot of like rotation and circular motions you can do on this map, which can make for some some interesting maneuvers. Uh, we do see bot mode back up on sniper. So as I was saying earlier, you do have that nice peak from Garage, which it's very easy to bait your med and not have your med die, but someone needs to hold the doors. So I think Sniper is more effective here, not necessarily to get that pick, but to sort of threaten that positioning off so the people who would be defending those doors can't really do so as adequately, and then it's easier to get people through, which we're seeing now. We're seeing the demo and med just extremely passive, and that's forcing so much passive positioning from blue that red is just through the doors for free. Yeah, exactly. Soapy and Dingo in together managed to shove them into that shutter, mm -hmm. getting two picks off the bat, and the pressure Ooh, so much. Low guy's close enough. We'll want to take an exchange here on no one, actually, but Psy catches a flash. Pretty even Ubers overall. And we're seeing a big rotation here from Blue. They're rotating yard. They want to yeah. fight this. Oh, but bot mode's still on sniper. Yeah, They're so just afraid of him. Down that plan completely. It, you just gotta respect the sniper here. Yep. He's so far away and they don't have the players. Yep. Gets and the pick on the scarfs too. Air scarfs. Psy doing a high bomb actually above the sniper's head. Excellent play to get that pick. Yeah. And Looks like he was trying to go for that hero shot too, but not able to find Bear at all. Yep, side deciding uh, if my soldier doesn't want to high bomb a sniper, then I got it. Oh, Speedy actually alone in choke will get cleaned up there. That will probably drive push Ubers. through choke. Yeah, Ubers are a little bit in the favor of uh, blue here. They have slight ad, but wait, uh, trip hitting the flank. He horrible. hits two nasty rockets, but oh, still, yeah. law guy twenty HP. Oh my god. Yeah, in the meantime, on the front lines, just big fight happening. Sai and uh, Bear both going pretty low. Still, even with those players down, they could take the exchange on cap. Meet wherever the meet wherever FWG wants to go. Looks like they're aggressing through lunchbox here. Yeah, uh, Ash failing his jump a little bit, but maybe it's the bait that brings in Speedy. <laughs> yep. 
and he and manages he to live. live. That will, and also even getting the even getting the rotation Ooh. up, it will be uncalled. Starts Sandblast almost living. Sandblast hitting the flank, but uh, gun down pretty quickly. Every single one of these doors is being pressured so hard and just dried through almost. Yeah, that was textbook rotation. Get the frag on that flank player watching lunchbox, and then just take that high ground. Force the force the enemy blue team out. Mm. Oh, and witnesses are just in last right now. It looks like there might be some kind of exchange action. Actually, the scout goes down. Dango goes down. Lol guy Ooh. dropping everyone does get forced and complete nightmare for a witness. Ash gets the drop though at the very tail oh, end. Oh yeah. So that's like nice consolation, but you're still losing the point for sure, and maybe even that yard. So it will be add for uh, lol guy, but honestly, kind of barely. Although, is anyone meeting bear? Okay, he has a scout. About twenty add. Kind of hard to play, I think. But, uh, we'll see. I was like yeah. Witness actually just interested in taking this aggression early. Yeah, in interested yard. in taking the ad. Oh, they're just shoving the flank completely. All six players. Speedy trying Speedy, to go for a flank yeah, too. is behind. Yeah. Unspotted so far, but, uh, kind of gets outmaneuvered here. He could still... Oh, no one's but, looking still. Yeah, so they're still unaware. And actually, they're rotating back. He can hear the building and the call, so he, he knows they're on this left side of the map. I guess was just waiting for the cap time. Probably gonna, yeah, flank through Z here. And He's just, going for the scouts. Gets the one. Ooh, so much damage. Excellent rockets on everyone, but not enough on anyone in particular to get the kill. So unfortunate there. Yeah, I feel like he could have been greedier when he stuck in the bad position. Mm -hmm. Sai getting the pick on Dasopi, though. Yeah. That's gonna shut down that sack attempt. Trip does. with a fast counter sack. Ooh, picks oh. up Dingo. That's gonna get some uh, breathing room here. Uh, blue speedy is spawning now and scarf's actually just in ash but, just uh, ash on the med gets the ooh. drop oh my gosh he weaves the he weaves the needle just manages to drop down behind that pocket scout yeah and speedy more interested with going forward maybe taking an exchange or something obama would sniper, sniper too yeah <laughs> taking this you always hate when you come up sniper and then their med just drops and now you're just stuck on sniper but you might be able to get some value here in this last point it's trying to take some shots it's just still trip team a they're bunch still of making stuff happen Sandblast the picks are coming extremely out. weak we'll get cleaned up by side and bomb mode has now maneuvered his way to the enemy team spawn we'll just get cleaned up by trip <laughs> wow that is a wipe for uh mm -hmm. ford witness they're getting two frags in the chaos too. What a turnaround! I'm amazed they uh, won that after their heavy went down so fast. Oh, yeah. Looks like the Meister did not practice uh, jump yep. competitive enough. Absolutely. Gotta get that. You never know when you're playing uh, Granary Land. Oh, and we're seeing both soldiers actually going down. Wow. Uh, on mid. So this should be a free midpoint. And then with this ad as well. Um, Maybe not only the yard, but uh, second might have to be given up here. Yeah, that was a that was a perfect response to the of the double soldier sack. Actually, Ash on soul Ash on a uh, in the forwards. Yep, might be able to get something. They saw the shutter. Okay, maybe they didn't see the shutter flash. There wasn't any eyes on it, but well, uh, still, they're going lunchbox instead. Yeah, they're well aware. They're well aware. And yeah, the second point. We'll get uh, flipped. I gotta say, one thing I like about Granary is you can see if someone's in the forward. Um, yeah, that's such a nice, that's such a cute feature. I definitely agree. <laughs> I need someone on that, but it's so easy to keep it under lockdown because mm -hmm. of that. Still, we will be heading into an even uber last hold. Yep. Still 0-0, zero, zero, so my uh, prediction's right out the window. Yeah, and we're seeing... I. If I could compare this last, obviously there's very few lasts that are as open as this, and comparing it to Metalworks, which is what I'm about to do, is seems insane. But the hold, I'd say, is somewhat similar, where you hold close to that wall, like kind of near the doors, but uh, not... It's, I guess a lot of maps are kind of like that. You, you see that on Process, you see that on Sunshine. Mostly with like anti-sniper positioning, but that seems kind of the default here. Ooh, the counter sack actually does bait out a force. and uh, Yeah, Sandless doing a good job baiting it out, but still mm -hmm. speedy in, trying to make something happen. Gets two rockets off, lol guy, kind of yep. weak, but... Bob Mode actually ate enough. one of those rockets, doing uh, 
Scarce is on Spy team. too. Oh yeah, and this Spy could get some value for sure. Spy could maybe even get oh, the... Oh, mode's checking. I don't know if it'll happen if uh, Scarce yeah. is cloaked. I think bot mode did just... Bot mode went Spy and disguised. I, I'm not but sure if it actually away. happens if uh, I'm not sure if it actually happens if the enemy spy is cloaked. This could happen. Scarf's shooting yeah. that pistol. The scouts have to come back, but they might Ooh. not be able to get in time. Yeah, that's barely around. able to make it happen. Trip team, starting it off after 60 minutes, making it 1-0. Yeah, that is crazy. So the the way to spy check when you're spy, uh, obviously you disguise the class, and if you have the the 3D HUD, then you could see cosmetics, but. Uh, you know, if they aren't wearing any, you disguise multiple times in a row, and if it's the same name, then, you know, it's more likely that they're a spy around that class. Hey, Either way, mid, though. mid. Early aggression. Oh, yeah. Aggro bombs just cleans up bear. First thing in the mid. Scarf's going down as well. This is looking pretty decisive for Witness. We're going to need to see some crazy counter aggression to clean up a little guy who's already out. So, best I can do here is maybe trade out. We'll try and clean up Soapy, but uh, it's not looking likely. Yeah, very close. Oh, there. Dingo bombing in. <laughs> they trade pipes, but uh, Dingo is healthier and will win the exchange. Yeah. Very close collapse there at the end. Getting a few picks, but just not able to take out Log. I already clean out through choke. That was that was some insane early aggression from the soldiers there. Just completely locked down Bear in that doorway. Yeah, and then, just pre-bombing the uh, catwalk. And then they just had complete control over the crates on high ground. Just yeah, let the bombs come in. Pushed all the way back to second. Speedy on sniper will get a shot off here and does get spotted. So uh, will not be able to get any value with that uh, that surprise shot. Yeah. Lol guy not getting caught out to the very standard sniper shutter play. Still, mm -hmm. bear is seventy percent. They could they get this. They are the, the gun and NG already set up. Denied by the gun. Good there's cap the cap time. time. To start. Sandblast does get reflashed as well. Bears left so. alone. Bears left alone with bomb Ooh, mode. Two picks going down. The, the counter Uber does get popped, so it will be a failed last push. But the the silver lining, I suppose, is that you did force out that Uber, so you're going to have a little bit of add to work with. But uh, uh, absolutely giving up the point. I don't know what just happened, but bomb mode just whiffed like six shots onto Bear oh, there, really? and he managed to get the Uber. Ooh, Dingo actually trying to hold the shutter alone, but uh, on two does too. die. Yeah, low guy. Not this is having just, Uber to, to force with, and this is just kind of a wipe. Sandblast, though, on the flank, making stuff happen, countered by Trip. Trip with his skill stick manages to juke that Sandblast. Mm -hmm. Secures, and now they're going to be able to take mid with 70 add. Yeah, and this is uh, looking treacherous for uh, Ford Witness G6 for sure. Yeah, maybe this is Trip's team's map, after all. Who they knew? Yeah, no off class for uh, FWG right now, but they do have a pretty tight grip on uh, that garage area right now. Mm -hmm. Looking to start giving it up now. Yeah, recognizing after the cap, we should probably not get caught out by the Uber. Soapy just trying to get out here after holding close for some spam. Actually does Ooh. get caught out by some stickies. So down a pick now. 80% they might be able to get on last. Uh, they are likely to. They're, although, trying, to, they're trying to pop yeah, this Blue's in. Blue's already taking this in. 93% on Lol guy has a demo in his face. Does get in time, so should yeah. be a hold. Bombo but, punishing uh, that bomb from uh, Sai as well, and this is just yeah, this is the meat grinder. Yeah. Actually, a hold it is. Red hasn't lost any players, and with the flanks, uh, this is going to be a complete wipe for Blue. Yeah, that was such a risky play to go off of. Mm-hmm. I was wondering yeah, you, if they knew how small that ad was. Seriously, and especially like against Lol Guy, who has been building fantastically, like it's just difficult to take. Although maybe it was because Lol Guy was building fantastically that they thought it was more than it was. Perhaps, yeah. That's it, that's something that's very hard to read, like whether the building is a good sign or a bad sign, or maybe even a fake to throw you off. Still, FWG able to take that yard yep, without even getting spotted. Through, yeah. Sai guy's so low, but ooh, Soapy does get cleaned up, and actually, this is looking pretty decent for Blue. Obviously, Red has Uber that you have to respect, and actually, Bear committing out there might get cleaned up. They bomb up behind on the med, managed to hit. He hits one meat shot onto Bear, but the two picks, 
and the rest of the collapse is just insane. Long guy yeah. milking a little too hard there, it seems like. Yeah, another one of those moments where a team shoves aside and then the other team just rotates forward into them. And despite not even having Uber against Red's Uber, uh, it ended up working out. We yeah. are seeing kind of the same play, but on the flip side, shoving yard from uh, Blue here. Yeah, if they go fast, they could catch FWG here. But the Ooh, bomb behind, the bomb it looks in. like he just went through drop. Yeah. Ash with an amazing timing, just catching them out while the players were on mid. Yeah, completely salvaging uh, that last hold. And actually, with that, second is looking very contestable. Yeah, only down one. Sandblast could definitely try to take a punishing Uber they here. They are so down, down their soldiers here. They do take the Uber. Oh, and it's just caught City. Oh, yeah. yeah. There goes Bear. Three players are behind, so this is either going to be great for them or they're going to get cleaned up and it's looking like the latter. Yeah, they already, they definitely knew, they definitely knew that uh, the rest of Trip team was caught in there. If there was ever a point where those three players behind could just bunker down and hope to get the point, it would be Granary second, but uh, <laughs> the spawners were too fast and they just got pinched. They had, yeah, they had every angle. Bomb mode came in through uh, Zed and they were, Sai was not expecting that. Okay. Seems we will have uh, Scarfs in the forts here. Yep. Hopefully able to make something happen because FWG is marching into two with that 30% add. Yeah, no, Maybe it's not. Take the time first. Teams have been kind of defaulting to go through this garage area instead of choke. And i obviously unfamiliar with the this map too much. And I'd imagine the sniper has something to do with that because yeah. this sight line can just be absolutely brutal as we're seeing right now. Choke is choke is super rough. Yeah, It's very easy. Oh my gosh. Well, Trip and Speedy making deciding to take things into their own hands yep. and just Ooh. salvage some situations. And Logai Psy will get force here. And actually the counter pop from Bear trying to save Psy. Scarps goes down though. And Ash, yeah, Ash is... starting the back cap. He's forcing them yeah, back. Yeah, this is very bad for Blue. It's just these three left. They have to just go back and Ash try to is stop it. Uninterested with the cap, just trying to meet them here. We'll get a rocket on Gungan. Just kind of the troll and Z. Does get cleaned up by Psy, but uh, it's kind of a collapse here in Yard. And actually, that being said, picks are trading hands, but uh, still ultimately better for Red. Yeah, that almost was a disaster, but Trip Team was able to salvage it. They definitely got the picks they needed to help turn it from a bad fight into an even fight. Now they're mm -hmm. going to be able to try to hold two. No demo yet, but still, Soldier on the corner, pretty strong. And we'll be forcing them, we'll be forcing FWG temporarily out. Oh yeah. We are seeing Ubers, yeah, roughly even. So we're going to see some type of sack play. One thing uh, we haven't seen... We haven't even seen uh, like too strong of a stalemate, honestly, yet. But uh, one thing that uh, has been an occurrence, more so in EU, is like banner play. And oh, actually, that's what I'm saying. That <laughs> maybe this is why we aren't seeing stalemates. Because when teams try and pressure for sacks, they lose a demo and a scout. Oh, Soapy detected on the back cap though. Mm -hmm. He's yeah. Trying... Speedy and Trip have to go back, but yeah. the rest of the Trip combo going forward is going to be an exchange. Yeah, drawing two players back there is ultimately not too bad when uh, your team only has three people alive. And it looks like Sai's trying to catch some players here. Quite weak, and Sandblast is in, in, taking fights. They're just trying to dry in. Oh, Sandblast snipe with the yeah. pistol, but Ash in, trying to get on to Bear there. Yeah, the damage is all players. over. They're just not able to focus anyone down, and now they're going to be able to deny two. Maybe even roll this right to last if they can get a good fight out. FWG, they're committed to fighting this, mm -hmm. but Dingo's... Oh. So they do have a soldier and a demo to try and hold this. Yeah, they, they do. are playing a little back, though, so Blue's going to have space for sure. Bear they are the taking it. Oh my gosh, yeah. Oh, 20 yeah, HP. going to have to bait completely. Soapy in, does not get Psy. That's still great. The rest of the team went forward despite Bear going back to get the health. They recognized that FWG were eager to give that up because of that numbers to the advantage. Mm -hmm. Looks like they're just trying to hold two here. Uber's still even. Samless on Spy. Definitely uh, not a spy timing you'd necessarily expect. But that would um, just make it even better. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, he is committed, walking out of spawn. Decided to disguise as a friendly for now. Yep. I do, as spy, I love the disguise as a friendly sniper, peek once, and then go back to spy. It can be nice. It looks like uh, probably on cloak and dagger, I'd imagine, for just standing there and uh, drop. Now, Cloak and Dagger, I think, 
uh, might hurt him here a little bit because the longer that well actually maybe not I would say the longer you go on uh, doing nothing the more the team expects spy but it is on blue here to be pressuring for that yeah. sack so you don't expect red to be doing anything anyway like, four witness is already pressuring though yeah Ash they know to not down. stay too idle yeah ash going down unfortunate because now blue is already mobilizing pretty okay, hard to take advantage. Cloaking. getting on Psy will get that pick and not a bad choosing pick. to cloak and live well wow, with the rest of that that was perfect that was perfect fwg just killed Psy and then oh, managed and to the push through the out. shutter that gun spy <laughs> it's lethal yeah, only three up here. Blue's gonna run for their lives. Although Sandblast has maneuvered himself behind again, and he's gonna get up there. The revolver's <laughs> he out. The he gets the he force. He gets the revolver force. Pairs five, and then he's he's cloaked again. Oh yeah, it's it's James Bond. He's yeah, you don't server. expect like playing your life as spy to be that valuable, but like when a team when a team knows there's a spy, it's less effective, but it becomes effective again when a team has to worry about things other than the spy they know exists. Ding Dingo kind of stuck on the corner, but it's okay. They have full yeah. ad to work the with. Sandblast back in, gets stopped. Oh, he gets another. <laughs> oh my god. The Uber chasing it down, but yeah, they're just out. And the back cap as well. Yeah. Scarf's barely oh, able to salvage again. Everyone back, actually. If Scarf's can get out through Lunchbox, this is just going to be even better. Yeah, I just I just wanted to say. Fantastic play from Scarf's. Backstabbing the demo and then shoving the shutter where he was watching is amazing. Just like <laughs> Trip getting the frag too there. This is just despite Sandblast, despite Sandblast just putting people in the dirt on Spy, mm -hmm. it's just not enough right now. The yeah, flank Sandblast plays are just so crazy. created that opportunity, but then Scarfs with the back half was just completely neutralized it. Yeah, two minutes left on the clock, and it's still 1-0. Uh -huh. FWG on the back foot here. They need to start cooking something up with the Dizad. Sandblast just too antsy. That's not yeah, what Sophie you need to be doing. It. Oh, Sophie Ooh, just getting a headshot. Rocketed. Yeah, not often oh. you see a headshot rocket that's also an air shot. And the Uber <laughs> is coming out. Dingo will most likely die here. Little guy doing his best to keep him alive. But he's 96. 96. He's still juking. He, he gets, gets in time. Uber. They, oh they could get cap time God. here. They the have so many players. From Lol guy and Dingo. The spawn's coming out. They need to get the cap right now. You do have a demo for this, but he probably has nothing loaded. Dingo does get cleaned up. It's just it's soapy. Just, soapy. They just clean it up. The and collapse is enough. immaculate. That was almost the most insane clutch from uh, Dingo, but mostly Lol guy just bowing him while also making sure he gets Uber in time. But uh, you just don't have the numbers, and it wasn't enough. Wow, what a turn of events. 2-0 for Trip Team. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh-oh. Uh, sorry, looks folks. Like looks like we, we do have... have uh, yep, production issues. Well, I I don't think there's logs that players were talking about. They're not being logs. Um, but, you know, I'd hazard a guess that... Uh, it's pretty clear who was doing yeah. well. Yeah, who's it, I think who's uh, it on your mind? Who's on your mind? As far as that game goes, um, I mean, as far as like, it could be recency bias, but uh, that Sandblast play was just wonderful to watch. Sandblast um, definitely did so much work there for uh, in that one moment. And it's hard to. I think that like the Tripwise team has been just doing well as a unit it hasn't been like standout stars necessarily obviously side has been doing a lot just getting a lot of picks catching players uh as demo does on that map i think i'd have to throw my hat in the ring for scarves and trip they probably mm -hmm. plus speedy as part of like the unofficial flank uh those three players they just ended up doing so much to salvage yeah. bad situations over and over again getting yeah, forces that, that getting back caps back up. Just drawing players back so many times. Same mm -hmm. for bot mode. Bot mode has been like an amazing flank scout. Yeah, that's true. And like flank opportunities are just rife on a map like that, where, you know, how many times have we seen on both sides, you know, a combo trying to push through choke only for a soldier to be landing on them from behind? Um, it just creates so many opportunities. For sure. It looks like we will be headed to process for the final map today. Finally bring it back to a bit of scout dominance. Maybe yep. Sandblast, maybe Sandy was just having trouble with a slightly less powerful scout map. 
and things are going to be come back into balance. <laughs> yep. Um, man, I'm trying to remember. There's some very funny sandblast copy pasta about like what, I don't getting know, healed. Remember. Something just there's a lot happening in it. I remember at the end he it mentions writing down a list of like adding someone to the list of who to MGE or something. Uh, it's funny, but uh, I on Granary, I really wanted to predict four two. So I no, it's just cope, but I was right on the two, I guess. <laughs> but uh, we were seeing a lower scoring game than either of us expected with that 30 minute timer. Because yeah. all you need is a little bit of back and forth, and then you know, it's not uncommon to see a fifteen or longer minute round, and that's half the game already. Yeah. Despite the low score line, that was not a stalemate game at all. That was yeah. just yeah, complete, like forth. I said, complete yeah. back and forth. Both yeah. these teams, they know the maps, they know how to work these stalemates properly. Quintessential kind of land land game. Um, now. I did make the mistake in my prediction on Granary of kind of riding on the coattails of a more decisive bagel game. And I'm not going to do the reverse here of see uh, Trip Y do well on Granary and then predict more in their favor on process. I still think this is definitely a uh, witness for G6 favored map. And Especially like, I don't know, the scouts, this is just a map everyone's more familiar with, you know, and it's more of a pug map. So obviously both teams, more of a pug team. That's just how land teams tend to go. But uh, I think for sure that uh, I say it's a four, two, four, one. I say four, one again four, for, one. Uh, for red. All right. I think a three, two for a, uh, yeah, red Ford witness. Ooh, a three, two. That's an. I'm hoping it's exciting. Line. Yeah, absolutely. I we will see. I'm sure. Actually, I don't even know if we'll see like a, a last sniper stalemate kind of deal. Um, because it seemed like on Granary, every single time there was any potential for a stalemate, like some random player would just get caught, and then all the doors would get flooded, and then it would just be a crazy mulch team fight and that might continue here but uh maybe people have better ideas of where to stand where not to die Fine. but you uh know. you never know um honestly i think the potential for like crazy flank plays might be a little lower on this map uh, i agree yeah. a lot more restrictive it's easier to it's easier to make it, maintain control of it and sewer from a yeah without having to overcommit to one side or another Compared to, you know, Granary, big ass yard. Yeah, absolutely. Where on Granary, we saw both teams' flanks kind of popping off and just getting value. I think that most of the action is going to be more combo centric this time around. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of flank aggression, I'm sure, because uh, we just see land aggression in general. But uh, it won't be like game or, you know, point deciding necessarily. It'll just be like, a pick or two here and there, I think. That's a very good point. Hmm. Yeah, again, just like every mid, soldier centric uh, mid fight. Hmm. Definitely think Soapy and Ash will be able to throw their hats into the ring again, make lots of stuff happen. I definitely feel like they were clinching out so many mids. Despite their only yeah, three, it felt like they were dominating. Oh, they're they're great. Great. I, I was actually about to say, I have seen... Now, it's obviously more of like a puggy kind of thing, but uh, Soapy is known to come up on beggars or just go for... I'll call it gimmicky. I'm safe calling it gimmicky kind of sacks and things like that. And I would love to actually see something like that attempted here. Either way, we are going live to the first oh. mid. Yeah, shout out to Jay. Get your prediction in for this game. Yeah, uh, who are you on? I think for me, it's got to be Ash, the brain of the team. Sure, I will get on Ash can as well. Looks like both teams just playing their spam, taking their height. 
such standard process things. And actually, Trip positioning actually is better for Red here by a Trip lot, hiding actually. IT, too. He is giving up that, he is giving up presence there for, to maybe yeah, get someone. It looks like this mid is <laughs> kind of, okay, we need, yeah, there's the aggression for Blue, although they just lose their picks. Yeah. I was going to say, this mid looked pretty much over just based on the positioning alone. Uh, yeah, they went for Ash there, but Sandblast and Sobe just walk across mm -hmm. perfectly and punish them for shooting another person. Oh, those bombs Ooh, are so yeah, fast. Yeah, Sobe a little aggro there. Does get cleaned up. And Ash Ooh, trying to lock yeah, him out, but Ash it's just not enough. If pushed that, he would have been behind them, but uh, understandably did not. Yeah, yeah the fine Ash cam on that mid was kind of strange, because you can like see from his perspective, it's kind of like, okay, I take this. Oh wait, they're not like shooting at me. I'm not pressured off. I guess I just walk forward, spam more. Oh, they're just backing up. Oh, okay, I'll just walk a little more forward then. And then suddenly they aggress and then die and then mid's over. That was a great that was a great uh, attempt from Sam Blast. He, Ash got so low, but mm -hmm. that WG6 uh, DM just cleaned him up instantly. So we are seeing a stalemate here on last Sambla or bot mode rather, just instantly up on that sniper class. You got Gungan on sniper too, defensive. Mm -hmm. So it will be sniper v sniper. Yep. I got that scarf sentry up on point. Nice standard position. Watch yep. some doorways. Nothing we haven't seen before. Bot mode definitely. If you want someone on this team on sniper, it's gonna be him. It's just going for that one oh, peak. Sandblast, Sandblast does caught go out down. Too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Speedy just pushes him and singles him out, able to take it away from uh, the soldier and bomb in here. Um, not getting yeah, much. Duncan getting an aggro peak there. Speedy does get cleaned up. And like I was saying, anytime there's potential for a stalemate, like some player just gets caught and then things speed up a little bit. But uh, both teams are committed to this sniper play. Uh, trying to Ooh. take lobby and just like that, there goes the sniper. Yeah, Psy eating, uh, Psy giving bot mode some pipes to eat, Absolutely. some rollers too. Rollers for dessert. Yeah. Soapy trying to get aggro is in. The gun is being constructed, does get the force on he there got, because of that. Wow. What an amazing bomb timing. Just went straight in at the perfect moment and now... Yeah, I'm not yeah. sure if Scarf's switched off of NG for the counter sack or if uh, that was just a late gun, but that gun being constructed just gave Sobe the space to get rockets off on Bear. Yeah, I don't think the gun... They're taking it to one. Oh, the bomb dies dropped. instantly, though. Still, Sandblast with the Uber is going to yep. be enough. Backup no scout. Yet. The gun does go down, but that's it. This is not a great Uber for Red. This could be bad. Sandblast's they get trying the to get some point. Does get decent cap pressure. They get a pick now. This is looking more even now. But Scarf's there, is on heavy, yeah, there fully is a buff. on point, unfortunately. Trip with the cleanup too. Now, if this was a Brass Beast, I would call this as a lock, but uh, the Tomislav, yeah, just goes down. Psy hits that pipe, though. Bears, oh, Ooh, Bear, Bear goes down at 80%, up. but the spawn's still here. There is still a spawn here. in Speedy, but uh, Dango is alive, and They're just pushed off splash damage out. to just get the point. Yeah. Oh, very close last fight there. Maybe if one more pipe came out of side, they could have held that. But still, still, despite anything, it's going to be 1-0 for Forward Witness Gaming 6. Mm -hmm. New mid. Let's see. Uh, I'd like to see more aggressive aggression here from Blue. Psy actually going quite low. Does get the pack, though. We're just yep. seeing height get taken. Standard process stuff. Double, Double soldier bomb Blue. does come in onto point. No picks either. But health is a little worse for blue. Bomb in from Ash actually does uh, blow himself up on bear. Only trades out for damage, no picks. Scarf's trying to clean up here, does get Sandblast. And it looks Dingo, like. Dingo caught. Yeah, caught in Dingo. <laughs> Scarf with the sword out. <laughs> Wait, Speedy with oh, the stick too. Oh, another sword out. It's just a melee slug. He wins fest his duel. Oh, it's just yeah. bot mode left. And that is going to be That's a full wipe. wipe. Yeah. Post mid fights, rare to see mm -hmm. that kind of scrappy fight lead to a wipe. Jeez. Okay, Ash up on sniper, just trying to deny those aggressive peaks and to last, maybe secure a gun. But it looks like those peaks aren't happening. Yeah, Blue's that was just a... content to be on second for now. Yeah, I think they're gonna slow it down a little after the chaos of that fight. Mm -hmm. That was yeah, a, that was insane. Is... They got caught out in sewer like that. Anyways, uh, this yeah. is full full ad. Low guy did not die on mid, he died after the mid fight. Exactly. So they have all the time in the world to work with here. Yeah, I'm just gonna peek. Gun is spotted by uh, Speedy from 5. Ooh, and, and the gun gets spammed down as okay as the Uber's taken, not before. Low guy kind of caught out here, will get picked up. Dingo Speedy in a bad spot, probably also going down. And actually, ooh, Blue is wow. just wiping somehow. 
Sandblast does get cleaned up, but uh, will trade out for Psy. And somehow, that Uber seemed to have all the space in the world, so I'm not sure what went wrong there, but uh, players just started are. dropping. Seemed like they might have overcommitted top left. They went for the med pick, but after that, the Uber was basically over, and they were just stuck mm -hmm. between a heavy and the rest of the Ford Witness gaming players who weren't on combo, just ready to collapse. Yeah. I felt like they could have baited point better there because there was no one to contest it. They that being said, they did get the med ultimately, so it's going to be close to even. About 20 to side here on mid. Yeah, bot mode. The bot mode spy. Committing on spy. What's he doing? Disguise as a friendly scout. You love to see it. Might be a little slow. Ooh, and actually, the cloak may have been spot. I doubt it. It was. Trip would have shot. Oh! oh Unlucky God. rocket. <laughs> I'm not sure what Speedy was shooting at there. Just hitting maybe, that uh, He's just supporting maybe his uh... footsteps or something. That would be insane. He must be playing at like full volume then. Yeah, the Highlander config. Oh, Scarf's actually in from IT. Doesn't get spotted. That was Does so get clean. a mole guy with a force. Trip bombing in, but unfortunately every player is flashed. Goes for the wall bug, but can't hit it and will go Beautiful. down. Oh, the counter pop. Gungan just cleaning up everyone here. Wall guy doing wall his guy best, but down. not able Dingo to. Dingo is G in as well. It looks like they want to fight this. The bomb behind. Soapy's in. Yeah. Does not get the second but, rocket. Uh, it's all up to nah. Dingo, but. Yeah, Dengo wisely choosing to just play his life here, get some traps on point for last. Oh, that was that was so close. I felt like Dingo did like 200 damage to flashed players. Already cap time speedy. No, a little too Going fast. Going down for it, but uh, Gungan securing more cap time. Dingo quite weak, but uh, the demo's here and he has stickies, so actually does not get value with it. This is looking terrible. Bear's going down to Ash, who will get cleaned up, but uh, it's just up to Scarfs. And Trip actually does try and commit in. We'll try to get Dingo, but not enough. And maybe a little rushed there on that uh, last aggression. That's exactly what I was thinking. Speedy managed to get a little cap time, but at the cost of his life. Yeah. Just not worth it in that kind of fight when you need to win it. Yeah, ideally Instead as of just a soldier, cap. you want to be landing on the people, stopping the cap, and not like initiating it. Absolutely. 70 ad now. More like 50 for a law guy. Marching in through choke. Yeah, trip team just not having the position. Speedy might be a little caught here getting chuckled yeah. and oh. oh eats a rocket in the back. Soapy hitting and him with that nasty. Dingo went down in the meantime though, so that will slow down red a little bit. So oh. you can't just take a demo bomb here. Wow, yeah, great pick from Psy there to slow it down. Mm -hmm. Uh only 30% to go. Yeah, if FWG doesn't go immediately, tripped. Yeah, Bear, Bear's pretty safe to get the Uber. Yeah, and it looks like they're just gonna even things out here. So definitely that demo pick uh, made the world a difference there. Yeah, no off classes for the side of FWG this time. Looks like they will just be going for some pressure cooking from uh, Sewer. Maybe just maybe just opting for the sack on Soapy. Still, yeah, ooh. we're seeing a double bomb into choke from Blue. Almost cleans up Soapy. Trip back in. Let's not see anything. Yeah, great aggression there, but mm -hmm. yeah, just not enough. Yeah, just trying to sink those players' aggressing choke. It looks like uh, we might see a rotation into IT here from Red. We are seeing that. We're seeing five players shoving IT right now. So be already, already behind. in behind, getting chased by both soldiers. So if he can just distract long enough, then this is uh, already valuable. So we brought back three true. players, but uh, does ultimately go down. Yeah, the rest of the team just not able to oh, make it happen. with the fast counter sack. We'll just back up here. Yeah, wisely decides to not go for the epic air shot and just leaves. <laughs> Love to see the discipline. Good yeah. players. No, but imagine if it hits. I mean, it won't kill, but you can still put it in the video. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He gets uh, he gets struggled a little. Maybe then you can hit a third. It's actually no counter sack from uh, from blue at all. Yeah, looks like they're preferring to just take it slow and uh, meticulously plan out this sag instead of just going for the timings. Mm -hmm. Now we are seeing some space taken in a sewer. Yeah, it looks like they're content. Nice to, looks like they're content to just sit here and wait for the right opportunity to sack. Yeah, yeah baiting out these soldier bombs too, even. Yeah, absolutely. And then once those soldiers have, oh, Gungan oh. just runs in a shutter, forces low guy. Yeah, but the force as well bears so low. From what I don't even know, maybe demo spammer soldier managed to leave. Yeah, both. Dingo and bot mode, or rather Sandblast, were uh, too focused on the left side of Sewer. A shutter was oh. on watch and Gungan just got a free force. Trip dead too, they gotta leave now. Big yeah, bomb onto Bear. 
Yeah, Bear's looking completely. Oh, actually, oh, no. Ash does Psy. the pipes from Psy, just bailing his team out. Speedy as well. He could oh. get the pick. That's an amazing <laughs> trade for this fight. Again, with the sticks in this yeah. fight. Man, Dingo got so tanked there with arrows that uh, he needed something to get that pick. And it looks like uh, Blue is just trying to fight this. Gungan is committed out, so he will give up his life for it, but... Uh, Oh, very unfortunate. Red team just faster than blue team to make it out of the... Yeah, now two scouts, you know, they don't have... They probably won't have a sentry gun or a sniper. You can just take space here, and that's exactly what they're doing. They're getting cap time. This is... Yeah, that's just a round. Uh, hang on one second. Excuse me. Sure thing. So we are seeing a new mid here. Both teams just rolling out. Um, demo showing up approximately at the same time. Soapy opting to take some early aggressive space there, trying to get some damage off. And looks like Height is taken by... Uh, oh, Speedy bombing in. Does not get anything. Although on the other side of the map, bomb mode gets cleaned up. So even numbers here. A lot of aggression on point for Blue. And uh, oh, Soapy going down, trying to bomb. But Ash getting a pick in turn. This mid was completely even up until uh, Scarfs died there, and it looked like Blue was just interested in leaving a little bit before that. So, ultimately, uh, not a super costly mid for Blue, but uh, they do lose it. And down two scouts here, they will have to respect uh, some space here from Red. Ash bombing in does <laughs> eat the super pipe from Sai. will go down. Uh, Bear going down to 60, though, in the meantime. Pardon, pardon that. Pardon Brad. that small break. So to catch you up, we uh, saw mid. Both meds lived. Uh, Red won the mid, and then Ash just got super air shot by Psy <laughs> on the sack. Yeah, looks like both. Uh, yeah, it looks like FWG not opting to go off class route in right now. Instead, going to be pressuring IT again, trying to get the player behind. Speedy meeting them quite aggressively. Two rocketed by Soapy off a nice juggle. Maybe they open, yeah, open up more doorways here. Rotating out. Sobe going choke, perhaps, as the rest of the team is starting to pressure Sewer off using their soldier pick here. Yeah, Trip playing this kind of back as the only soldier, so something is not being uh, denied right now. It looks like Ash peeking lower IT, thinking about it, does get, we'll spotted, get spotted, will yeah. back up. Yeah, in times like this, you know, as the team with mid, you kind of have the advantage and... So he might die and choke here. Oh, Dingo kind of getting caught on the... But not really. Just small yeah. rockets. Uh, yeah, Speedy deciding to play it safe there. Yeah, that team with the advantage, you want to be the one kind of sacking first. You have that, that opportunity to do so. And most of the time, you're doing it into a team of six players. But in those opportunities where, you know, either they sack late or you get a pick, I think teams should be taking that opportunity, you know, because some door is, is being watched less so. So Soapy does get caught out there by uh, yeah. by a bombing trip. Had a had a bit of a fail jump there, but you know it happens to everyone. Trip and clean bomb. Sack from trip. He whips gets the rocket, on the little guy's face, blows him down to uh, thirty five percent or thirty five health. But uh, that was so close there. He yeah. almost caught the drop if he hit one more rocket. Still, it's gonna be turning. Yeah, we're gonna be turning it back to FWG for the initiative here. Ash ready to go at a moment's notice, but they might just be looking to pressure here instead. Yep, they're just pressuring these sewer doors, and looks like Soapy might be the one to go here. Is bombing in now. Ooh, gets a nice rocket on the scout trying to gets, deny him. He gets the crater yeah, too. Yeah, Gungan crater. Another, another oh, another, another soldier bomb. in. Not Good damage. Samblas quite deep here. Although counter aggression almost kills bot mode and Dingo. That being said, bot mode just dying to a, a pipe from point. Although yeah. red's not done. They have more to say here. They're yeah, trying but... to kind of fight this and they decide, yeah, no, this is bad. They have the height. That being said, Ash is like, no, this is great. <laughs> Let me go trade out with Psy real quick. Yeah, that is uh, not a bad pick at all. They can pressure even more now. Without that demo down, like Absolutely. one doorway is completely free. Oh, hopefully. and they're just rotating IT. Mm, this could be a little tough, honestly. They soldier could lock it down a lot easier. Yeah, absolutely. Soapy just kind of sack them. in from lower IT. Does Gets not get a up. good rocket off. Don't get on the defensive up. sniper too, just to know. Yeah, potentially a missed opportunity there off of a a demo pick. 
like to see like a, a door that the demo usually denies being pressured really hard. Or even walking in. It's a lot exactly, harder for yeah. a soldier to prevent that walk-in compared to a demo just laying down those sticks. Yeah, absolutely. Because they only have so many rockets and if they try to, to bomb you then you know they're risking their own life for that. Anyway, we are seeing the sniper quite passive on bats here. Just hoping to catch a pick on a player peeking sewer. Which it looks like it's probably likely to happen here. Dengo walking up. Dungan may be nope, a little too just... impatient, depending on whether they go IT or not. He could definitely... This is a great, yeah, great yeah. read, by the way. Getting spotted there makes this sniper play much less effective. Although... Never mind. You know, it gets that doesn't matter if they know shot. if you just hit the shot. Now exactly. down two, this is going to be a little difficult. Speedy gets a clean bomb in onto Lolgai, who just pops immediately. Doesn't want to risk another rocket. Whew. Yeah, great there. bomb there. I just wanted to say, it is an amazing read from Gungan to play Sniper, because he knows that FWG has not been bombing in players without mm -hmm. like pressuring, and that pressure is a perfect opportunity. As I yeah. say that, uh, to snipe him, as I say that, Ash is a... Uh, oh, in sewer with Sobe, yeah. the flank rushing, Ooh. but Sai hitting those oh, pipes soldiers left going and right. down. Bomb mode so low. Against the Sniper as well, it just barely slips away. Oh, Speedy going down. Makes this a little worse for Blue. Yeah, down both those soldiers there, that's a lot of spam to be missing. And yeah, With the Sniper 2, it's going to be very tough for them to fight unless he makes a miracle shot happen. Dingo is in, and they just don't care about the Sniper at all. They're no, just fighting this. and Sai actually, hits these pipes. What yeah, the, the Sniper was the least of their concerns as uh, they're just losing players left and right on second. I, th I think Gungan just hit it at 150 on the sandblast, and then Sai just hit him with a pipe too. Mm. The bomb in from Sai, he's hungry for more. Yeah. Gets punished <laughs> Maybe, a little bit too a little much more aggression. than he can chew. We'll get uh, cleaned up. Uh, still forcing FWG out. Two points for free off the back of those great exchange of the great uh, no, just dry fight even. Mm -hmm. Oh, and we're seeing some re-aggression here. This is absolutely a land dry fight if I've ever seen one. Trades going in uh, both teams. Soapy going quite low will be able to catch a bow though. And positioning is a little better for blue, although they seem to be giving it up a little bit. Uh, and it looks almost like a mid fight to me. Mid yeah, both with teams. Ubers on the table. Just try to take position on high ground. Get that point pressure going on as well. Dingle already getting the cap. Yeah, but still, both teams just playing their health so Seeing well. Sandblast from blue, they're taking this positioning, and yeah, red is just they are out. Sandblast, yeah, just barely able to not get juggled by that rocket. Leaves out through it, and with that, trip team gonna establish themselves on mid. It's amazing okay. to see these uh, dry fights go on for so long, and the teams just rotate their weak players out, knowing when to retreat to not lose anyone. Yeah. We are seeing some IT pressure here from Blue. The ball is in their court to, to make something happen. Looks like they rotate out. Just uh, buffing players, buffing soldiers. Yep. Looks like they learned, uh, they're going to mirror what FWG's been doing to them. Just play it slowly and find the mm -hmm. perfect opportunity for that sack to go out. Uh, maybe because of that time, maybe because of the time up there, subconsciously making them a little bit more uh, tactical about this. Who knows? Yeah, process but, two can be a difficult uh, point to sack into because you can just have scouts on that high ground on the point, just ready to to eat up trip whatever in. soldier wants to get in. Uh, and, trip dead. Yeah, just like that. Uh, a little bit of a blind bomb, unfortunate. Log guy had a pretty good spot that trip wasn't able to be like no one was able to spot him. We are seeing the counter sack from Sophie. Does get air piped and just completely cleaned up by Sai. Just getting kind of obliterated there. Mm -hmm. Sai doing an amazing job there. We are seeing a pause potentially here. Oh, actually, my STB wants to kick me out. That's unfortunate. Uh, Speedy did try sacking. Uh, blew, blew himself up a choke. That's Scarf's down too, so double sack, not getting anything. Really unfortunate to see FWG gonna have the opportunity to push right into mid here. Ash starting it off with the fade bomb, and the rest of FWG just no contesting them. They're just taking the high ground, and trip team already getting pushed back by the spam. The bomb in, Bear gets forced, gets the trip pick as well, and with this, the FWG flank is just taking over this mid. Speedy is out of there, and Sai forced to jump away. So it would appear that I have been kicked out of the STV, and now since it's full, I cannot reconnect. 
here. Oh no. Uh. Okay, that sounds like a plan. Look. Thank you, yes. Mr. Production. Anyways, uh, bear going down. Full ad FWG about to make their third round if something if this works out in their favor. Scarps in the forwards decides to not blow up to those sticky bombs on it. Just decides to back spawn. Gungan, I hop on the NG, but it's only level one still. Not even sure if it'll be level three by the time uh, Ford Witness decides to push here. They will be taking lobby. Trip team, or yeah, they have great positioning up top, but it all depends on how this bomb goes. And Dingo, yeah, Getting it is not the bomb he wants. The gun at least. Speedy going down makes this uh, more tenable for Red, but uh, that's the only pick they get with their Uber. That being said, Psy down to 16 HP. The point pressure though, they can't block it. Yeah. That's exactly what I wanted to see from their uh, one beefed push earlier. Just get that cat because the heavy can't contest you from that far away and you already yeah, have the picks. Yeah, not every uber is uh, is perfect where you just wipe a team with it. So sometimes you just need to get the gun, get that positioning, and then wait a little bit, reheal, and then aggress. That's exactly what uh, we saw Witness doing. New mid though, early damage on Bear and Lol guy actually. Big bombs. Oh, mm -hmm. big body bombs. Yeah, uh, they're going clean down. Scion, 2 HP, no medic to heal him. We'll have to just leave entirely. Yeah, FWG wisely. Get the medic, leave before they collapse on you. Mm -hmm. And the health is not good for blue here. With no med, you can take this as slow as you want. Just trade damage and, you know, muscle your way into this point slowly but surely. Yeah. We are seeing that. Scarf's going down. It's a pick. Bear is on the way, but uh, it looks like they're just leaving some players to cap and then backing up with it. Sai actually going for a crazy play. He's just hiding, watching Sewer Door. Uh, he's uh didn't get spotted by Soapy flying overhead. He knows uh, he knows he has to do something eventually. Besides, yeah, maybe he'll point, sneak up. At this point in the match, with you know seven and a half minutes down, three rounds. You definitely want to be making things happen. And Sai makes something amazing happen by blocking yeah. mid. Oh, that is actually, that's a big play. So that's going to be drawing plenty of players back who do finish this cap, potentially just buying the second point out, right? And trip is in. So I hits a nasty air shot, but still dies. It's three down though, no Uber in play. This is going to be pretty rough for FWG with no scouts. Dingo try, doing his best to jump out. He surfs into a wall. So Man. unfortunate. Now low guy doesn't have Uber yet and is weak. Will just be leaving with his life. Actually, lingering a little bit. Okay, it does have forwards to uh, cool. back him up. Yeah, but, Ash uh, getting taken down too. This should be a three up. That's. Dingo's not even there. There's no traps. They can just steamroll yeah. this. They should steamroll this. Uh, maybe just watching out for the sniper, of course. But yeah, this can be ad for last. Oh, complete. That's completely true. Wow, this could be their chance to put around on the board. Then it's only two more, and it's tied. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is uh, this is kind of uh, like taking time. it through one. So, objective: don't get sniped. Okay, objective completed. New objective: take out sentry. Perfect. They do have some space here, getting some point time. No picks yet, but uh, Dingo and Ash both very weak. Oh, but the counter Uber low guy gets in time, and yeah, it's it will down. look like a failed last push. Trip in the wall bug. Sandblast in so deep on the serve. Oh my gosh. Now Trip's play here is probably a back cap, which he's going for. Oh, but the the pogo unfortunately misses it. There was a scout awaiting him on point, but uh, you never know. It is land after all. Yeah, very close push there. If they could have killed Lol Guy, they maybe could have uh, continued going. Even then, they still got the cap time they needed. Trip team forced to leave out of mid here. Things are looking a little grim at the moment. If you're a, a comrade of Trip Y. Mm -hmm. So we are seeing Uber ad for uh, Witness here. And no off classes. They will just try to be. Oh, they're just doing the nuke through choke. Dingo. Dingo, yeah, he's in the air. <laughs> he is skybox. Oh, oh, might catch bear? Oh my god, he does. Ash with the helping rockets too, but Dingo, yeah, he gets his man. Mm -hmm. We are seeing a little 1x back cat from Trip will not be enough. And now, yeah. down a med, there's a soldier stuck behind who actually 
Ooh, actually, Plus scarves, they're getting out at the very least, but uh, this is looking like a round for... Actually, never mind. It's just a complete new no. lobby speedy. This idea has stick. more to say, but uh, it's just bear versus two scouts. No spawns for five seconds. Yeah, this will be a round after all. Very unfortunate. I feel like he could have, at the very least, maybe he could have brought up a pyro play or something. Anyways, that was still so close. Uh, if Speedy killed the scouts, that would have just been a miracle, even then. Making it that close was amazing for a trip team. Yeah, last mid. Well, oh! Well, heading into next mid, I mean. Sai, punishing Soapy with the two pipe there, and off the back of that, the rest of trip team is just gonna bomb in here. And yeah, FWG, they figure they just better leave. No point to getting steamrolled four rounds in a row and maybe letting it get tied. Yeah. Although at this point, the... Uh, yeah, it's three minutes left. So this is officially garbage time. Yeah. But, oh! Uh, Soapy hits the nasty <laughs> market card. <laughs> it's been a while. Like, it only yeah. happened uh, near the tail end of one of the matches earlier day, too, but... It's good to see Soapy still in form. Oh, and going for a wall bug above the forward spawn. This is I some like insane technology. Lot. Even then, Scarf's Scarf's doing a bad cap, almost getting it. Oh, but Soapy, a little too impatient. Uh, gets the one nuke rocket, but uh, wasn't able to get any picks in spawn. Yeah, that's just like one the for the. Though. That's just one for the stats. Good enough. Oh, here comes the Sandblast Duper. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, a little bit beefy right. onto Gungan. Sandblast Duper. Okay, yeah. nice. This okay, is guess, this is a Sandblast Duper. Too. Good Very enough. Nice. Yeah, at this point, uh, it's up to whoever can do the coolest stuff left while there's still time on the clock. Although that being said, it it might just end right here because uh, Witness does have a lot of picks and oh. getting another right now on the Trip heavy. and Gungan both on Sniper too. See if one yeah, of them can hit a shot. It looks like they're ready for this match to be over. And a 5-0. Yeah. Woo! Wow. It seemed close, but then it just converted at the end. Yeah. I thought for sure that trip would be able to get the trip team was able would be able to get a, at least two one round. I would say that last round counts actually it doesn't even count for the log. There's no log. I yeah, because that, that, that fifth round definitely was uh just a garbage time kind of steamroll. But uh yeah, definitely very convincing for uh, forward witness G6. Yeah, for sure. That Ooh. said, though, so well, actually, considering that uh, the Trip Y team has had close maps already with uh, other other teams, maybe it's not a lock in that these two teams will be our grand finalists. But uh, if that is the case, um. That's still not super decisive, I'd say, because we've seen that, uh, you know, Tripwire team have their maps. Um, they were able to pull out a good win on Granary. So depending on what the, the map lineup looks like, if these teams rematch, that is, 